my name is Dave Kozak. I'm the lead mission designer for Hearthstone. Once a generation, troll tribes from around Azeroth gather together in Gurubashi Arena to determine which of their Loa, or animal spirits, are the most powerful. For the last 200 years, this event has been known as Rastakhan's Rumble! Sorry, I got a little excited. This is big stuff. Now, you might be asking yourself, who is Rastakhan? As the all-powerful god king of the Zandalari, King Rastakhan may be among the most powerful trolls that ever lived. Who better to bring our troll champions together in ignoble combat to honor the Loa they serve? Players who pre-purchased the expansion have already been playing online with the King Rastakhan shaman hero, intimidating their foes with his regal majesty. You stand before King Rastakhan! And soon, one of us will kneel. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where did he get that hat? <laughs> what? No, that's not the question? Okay, ah, uh, well, let, let's talk about the rumble. Nine troll champions gather together and assemble their teams. Each team represents a mighty Loa, and each champion embodies that Loa's power within the arena. Of course, because this is Hearthstone, we created the ultimate rumble, a battle featuring the greatest trolls in the history of Azeroth. We've got classic dungeon and raid bosses, like the one-armed axe flinger, Zul'jin. New characters, like King Rastakhan's very own daughter, Princess Talanji. And even unique Hearthstone heroes, like the elusive troll pirate and notorious cheater, Captain Hooktusk. The teams clash in the arena, sometimes with help from the stands. It's a wild melee, every troll for themselves, fighting on behalf of their Loa. Which begs the question, what are the Loa? In troll culture, trolls worship powerful spirits, usually animal spirits, known as Loa. The smaller Loa might be worshipped by a family or a town, but the largest and most powerful Loa would be worshipped by entire civilizations. Among the most powerful is the Loa of the Dead. One Samdi. So, why have you come to see me? The priest champion, Princess Talanji, leads Buon Samdi's team in the Rumble. Buon Samdi's zombies. Since the Rumble is all about these powerful champions and the incredible Loa that give them their strength, we wanted some way to get that, that fantasy into the game mechanics themselves. Buon Samdi and his rule over the realm of the dead influence everything that his team does. For example, here's one of the new cards in the expansion. The Spirit of the Dead. While you have this minion active on your board, any minions that die return to your deck, and they only cost one. That's not just a bargain with the dead. It's just a pretty good bargain. We got a deal. Spirit cards like this one have stealth for one turn. That means there's a pretty good chance they'll stick around and allow for some shenanigans. They're also rare, so you can have two of them in your deck. Every class has a spirit card, as well as two legendary cards. One to represent their troll champion, and one to represent the Loa that empowers them. Now, let's take a look at the Loa of the Dead himself. Buon Sambi. He's a 7-7 minion, but the real mojo is in his card text. He'll fill your hand with one-cost minions from your deck. These two cards together make a pretty killer combo. Reshuffling all your dead friends into your deck, and then drawing them again at Buon Samdi's behest. Just because you're dead doesn't mean you're off the team. So get out there and show your spirit. You know, I wonder if I summoned my own Loa, what it would be. My own personal Loa, the embodiment of my spirit and power. Oh, no, 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 Oh, come on! Again with the chicken? 